and aims to inspire air blindness in the young people of today. I would like to thank the Royal Air Force Charitable Trust, the Heritage Lottery Fund and Rolls-Royce PLC, without whose generous financial support for this project would not have made it possible. And I'm delighted to welcome their representatives to Royal Air Force Holton today. Therefore, I have great pleasure in inviting Lord Trenchard to say a few words and to open the centre. Thank you. Group Captain Harper, Air Marshal North, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very great pleasure for me to be here again at RAF Fulton. It's a station with which my family has strong historical connections. Between 1922 and 1952, my grandfather visited many times to speak and encourage his boys as he fondly called the RAF apprentices, and to see them at work and at play. He was immensely proud of his boys, who actually more commonly became known as his brats. My grandfather, speaking in the House of Lords in 1944, paid tribute to Halton-trained personnel. He said it was they who made victory in the air possible. A hundred years ago, a young James McCutton came to Halton as an engine mechanic with Number 3 Squadron Royal Flying Corps, which was here on Army Maneuvers. He later became Britain's most decorated fighter pilot, destroying 57 enemy aircraft and winning the Victoria Cross, two Distinguished Service Orders, two Military Crosses, a military medal and several foreign awards. Throughout his career, Major James McMutton showed the greatest professionalism, consideration for his subordinates, and he never forgot his roots as an engine mechanic. The naming of this Flight Heritage Centre after Major James McCutton is therefore very appropriate. I now have much pleasure in declaring the James McCutton Flight Heritage Centre open. Oh! 